planning on doing a video like this, but um, um one of um, first even Ryan really needed it, and he said he wanted to play FNAF 4 on his channel or something like that. But um, uh, he uh, so I um, uh, was like, okay, I'll do a FNAF 4 um tutorial, and let's just say I'm bad at scripting stuff. Like I'm, I'm like I don't know how to play, like make a script. You know, I kind of do it. So I didn't make a script. I didn't do anything. I just went on the. Oh, I just turned on OBS. I turned on FNAF 4 on my FNAF 4 on Steam. And I was like, okay, I'll record some gameplay footage of night one and part of night two. So, and um, uh, I um, uh, was like, okay, so, um, this shouldn't be too bad. Um, turns out it's going to be really hard to do so, because I have to voice over this entire video now. So um, so as you can see, this is like a basic guide on how to be a free beat Final Fantasy Freddy's 4 because I know a lot of people are confused about how to play this game exactly. And um, uh, I was just um, I, I'm I'm just showing you guys the room like so okay let's just get off the dumb story already so you're in the bedroom there's you you're, there's two doors on your left and right and um uh, there's the closet in front of you and um uh, yeah if you click on the door you'll run to it which is like this is like the first snack game that actually had animation other than the jump just the jump scares and um. Uh, so, um, uh, like the game says, if you hear Bree, um, um, when you're, once you're at the door, um, you have to listen carefully, and, um, for the breathing. If you hear breathing, you have to hold shift to shut the door. And if you don't hear breathing, you have to flash, turn your flashlight. Now, I know a lot of people that I've seen while play this game have trouble with listening for the breathing, and, um, um I'm here to kind of help you, kind of. I'm saying kind of a lot, because I don't, I'm not 100% sure, but, um, as you can see, I'm looking at the f closet right now, and um, uh, I will explain that in a later video and who it goes in there. But um, uh, for now, I'm just teaching you guys the basics on how to beat, you know, the order of the game, um, how to fend off against the um, Bonnie, Chica, and Freddy. So, so, a lot of people have trouble with the breathing, and um, uh, I did too when I first played this game. I started playing this game two weeks ago for the first time. I know, never touched this game before. I got it off Steam a while ago, but I never touched it because I was always too scared to play this game. It, uh, out of every FNAF game I played, this game was always the scariest for me. Because um, the breathing's really faint, and if you flash out your flashlight, when you hear the breathing, they will instantly kill you. Sorry, I'm first aid. Um, so, I'm, uh... Now, the breathing pro the breathing's the problem, okay? Um... You, um, my recommendation for holding the opening and closing the door, like, when you're at the door, sit there for about four, for like, for like, like, maybe three to four, uh, like, three to five seconds. Just listen. Turn your volume up to, like, 70% and listen. Like, it, it's really, like, it, it's really repetitive, especially when the breathing's just like this. Um, the breathing, um, I will get a sample of, hopefully. If I can find it properly, so um, uh, that's gonna take a minute, and um, I don't know where I'm gonna find it, but um, hopefully I can find a sample. And um, uh, so if I um, as you can see, I'm just waiting for um, this game um is all sound cues. There's no way you're not gonna be able to beat this game with your might with your headset muted because you're terrified. That's what I did when I played this game. I had my Headset muted. Now, what I do in case I do actually get jump scared, because this game can be buggy sometimes, is when I run up to the door. Uh, when I run up to the door, and I sit there for like five to three to five seconds, and I and I mute my mic, then flash the light. And in case I do get jump scared, because this game can be. Did y'all hear that? Listen, to breathing now. Now here's the sound of him walking away. And yeah, so um, uh, that's uh, how you basically feel from if you um, uh, hear um, uh, cheek do the make the same um, footsteps on cue, the turn, turn, turn on your right, then you flash the light, and then if um, you hear it on the left again, like I said. Like, so I'll listen for the breathing, and if it's not there, well, we'll watch, you'll see Bonnie down the hall, you'll, oh wait, no, that's not yet. You'll hear, you'll see Bonnie, um, down the hall, and you'll back up, making you be able to, um, uh, him to take longer to get to the door, he'll get backed up into the back of the house. Now, 
Now, Freddy, okay, so, Freddy is when the game starts, um, is, like, the most, um, the biggest problem for me in this game so far. It, um, it's not because of, um, uh, it does of how fast they um, spawn in the later nights, but the earlier nights they're not as bad. But, um, uh, like I said, this game can get really repetitive at some points, and, um, uh, oh, and by the way, you guys will, will be able to hear, um, uh, Chief in the kitchen at some points, meaning if... Like, you'll see in a second. Let me see if I can find a video clip for it. And, um, uh, like I said, well, um, Freddy, all you need to do is, um, I'm actually recording this after I recorded it a couple other voice clips, so I can't really tell anymore. So, um, uh, yeah, there should be a clip for the kitchen in one second. And yeah, that is the sound of Chica knocking pots and pans over. If you hear her if doing that, that means she's in the kitchen. It means she's not even in the hallway. It means she's really far away. And Bonnie doesn't have this kind of sound cue, so Chica's a little nice in this game by letting you, um, you know, um, what's it called? Um, letting you know where she is. And if you hear the pots and pans, that means a friend of mine told me how to, um, uh, to listen to that, so I'm, uh, yeah, and I'm a, and by a friend of mine, I mean nobody, <laughs> and I'm a, so, Chica, you don't see Chica, maybe, repel, repel Chica in this game, you'll hear her breathing in part of night two, my night two footage, I don't know why I decided to do that, but I'm, a, yeah, anyway, the, the, the one thing with Freddy in this game, I'm not gonna show it on screen, because, um, one, the game footage, um, I kind of didn't have time to, really talk to talk and look for Freddy because um Bonnie Chica kept coming to my door and like I kept hearing sound cues so I couldn't so I'm just gonna explain it while this mini game for us to go through. But, um uh, the pro uh, the problem with Freddy in this game is that his pulls little guys that sit in the bed and then appear um appear too fast. And um uh, they are really annoying, especially later nights because they like I said they appear too fast and um uh yeah, especially a fox in the nights, and, oh yeah, I forgot about fun with plus chat, so, um, um, this game isn't really hard, if you hear, if you hear foot, um, if plus chat footsteps like these, do not know if you guys can hear that or not, but, um, uh, eventually when he gets up the chair, you'll hear a very fast running sound, to the left or the right, it doesn't really matter, and that's when you'll know when it flashes like this. Yeah, if you hear that sound, that means he is on one of the sides, and if you hear the faint footstep sound again, um, that means he's in, in, in the middle somewhere. I got a little paranoid while doing this because I couldn't hear the footsteps when I thought they, uh, the first time when I thought the game was being, like, bugged. Because this game came, is probably the buggiest FNAF game out of all of them, in my opinion. It's, uh, um, that's not confirmed, it's just my opinion on that. But, um, uh... I got a little scared because, um, uh, I was waiting for too long and I was afraid that Flesh was gonna jump scare me. And trust me, the jump scares in these games are not fun at all. Trust me, I got jump scared by almost everybody in this game so far except for Flesh Trap. And I didn't want to keep that streak off. So, the timer up there means how much time you got to, like, you know, to get him. And then if you, really, yeah, see, like, you, if you hear the footsteps sound when he's right in front of you, it means you got to flash him immediately, or he's going to jump scare you. And now on to night two, what, uh, which I'm going to explain in a later video, but I guess I'll take this time to um, uh, tell you guys how um, uh, Freddy works. So, um, uh, Freddy is nowhere in the house. His little minions, or kids, I'm going to call them little kids, um, are going to pop up on the bed. There'll be, um, after, if you don't check the bed for a while, you'll start hearing a faint, <laughs> like a jittering sound, kind of. And, um, uh, if you hear that, that means they're, um, that means they're starting to pop up a lot. Like, it's, uh, the more, the more, the more louder it gets, the more freckles appear on the bed. And if you keep them on the, if you keep, um, the, the, the if, blah, 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 if there's... One on the bed, you're good. If there's two on the bed, flat, um, you're also good. But if there's three on the bed 
and you keep all, and all three of them on the bed for too long, and if you turn on the flash light, um, Nightmare Freddy will immediately kill you. And I'm going to see what goes to. And what you want to do, all you want to do is just turn on the flash light. That's about it. And, um, uh, in the winter night, they start popping up a lot, and it's really annoying, and I think I got back to, um, I died eventually in, that, in this, I'm pretty sure, because the sound keys kind of jump me. I don't know if the sound keys are inverted or not, that's the only thing I don't know about this game, please don't, um, get mad at me because you expect me to know everything, but the sound keys are inverted, and cheap is moving right here, so I have to shut the door. Because I, I heard it the last second, I almost clicked CTRL. CTRL is a flashlight, it's on your flashlight. Like in every game, sorry. There you go. And, um, uh, yeah, um, that, that's all the basics of this um, game. Um, if you want to know how to deal with Foxy, let me know by leaving a like or. Oh. And, um, uh, and letting me know, know down in the comments below or by leaving a like, like I said. And thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial video on how to beat FNAF 4. And I'm uh, slapping X over that like button. Subscribe today to join the X squad. And I will see you guys in the next video. See y'all later. XL. Peace.